you so much for joining me today. This is part two of the series that I am bringing to you titled, Why God Allowed Sickness in My Body? Why God Allowed Me to Walk Through the, Those Storms? And so I gave you the first reason on yesterday. It had to do with God testing my faith. Basically, knowing that I know who I am as I walk through tests and trials, whatever Satan is allowed to do, you know, will I still believe God? Will I still stand in faith and believe him for the supernatural? Will I believe and trust my God? That's what it was all about. The test of my faith. Will I pass this test? And all the adversarial spirits know who I am, that I believe my God, no matter what it looks like, no matter what storms come, I will stand and believe his word and trust his word because he's all powerful and he can do anything he wants to do right? So today I'm going to share with you the second reason why God allowed me uh, to have sickness in my body to walk through this storm in life. And the second reason is this. And this came as I was speaking to a friend of mine on Tuesday. And this just came out of his mouth and made so much sense. It was as if I heard it for the first time. And I know God had put that in my heart before, but just made it stick and it just it was just revelation at that point right and confirmation as well so the second reason God allowed this sickness in, in my body was God wanted to show his great power his great power and his glory he knows who we are right and that we have the faith to withstand right? With sin means that you remain undamaged like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right? Or unaffected by the storm and that you will resist it. He knew that I would resist Satan and all his demons and cohorts and any sickness and disease because it is not from God. It is not from God. Sickness and disease is not from God. All these things, God knew I would resist the lupus, that I would resist the bronchial ectasis, the lung disease, that I would resist kidney failure, that I would resist, in Jesus' name, heart palpitations and uh, ulcers and uh, in the stomach and the esophagus and uh, the cancerous tumors. God knew that I would resist it. All for his glory that men will see how powerful he is that when you speak his word that it shall not return to him boy but it shall accomplish all that it was set to do right so do you remember guys do you remember the story in the bible in john chapter 9 verses 1 through 10 about how this man he was born blind and people were saying oh did he sin or did his parents sin is this why he was born blind no, that wasn't it. God said in his word, no, his parents just didn't. It wasn't because of his parents' sin or his sin or anybody's sin. No, it was to show God's glory and his miraculous power through this man, right? People need to see who our God is. In Acts 28, another story in the Bible, you guys, you remember Paul, he was on this ship and they had to uh, release people from the ship and things were happening where he had to get off the ship and he landed on an island called Malta, right? It was cold there, but the people treated him very nicely and kindly. And he decided to get some sticks, pick up some sticks and make a fire. As he was picking up the sticks, a snake bit him. Do you remember that? A snake bit him, but nothing happened to him. The people were waiting for him to die because it was a poisonous snake. These snakes basically kill, right? Nothing happened to him. It reminded me of Mark 16, 17 in the Bible. It says, but if you believe on me, you shall do these things, right? You should cast out demons. You should speak in tongues. If you pick up a serpent, it shall not harm you. If you drink any deadly thing, it won't harm you. And you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Well, this is what Paul did. That snake bit him. 
Nothing happened. He went on about laying hands on people and people being healed and delivered and set free even after that. Supernatural stuff, powerful stuff, right? Another story in the Bible, John uh, chapter 11, verses 1 through 45. There was a, a family so dear to Jesus. He called this particular person his beloved. It was Lazarus. It was Mary and Martha. This family, they were brothers and sisters. Well, Lazarus, he got sick, very, very ill. And Martha and Mary told Jesus about it, how sick he was. And uh, basically, Jesus said that, he shall not die. The sickness will not end in death, right? But two more days passed by after they shared this with Jesus. And finally, he arrived four days after Lazarus had died, right? Why did he wait four days, you guys? Because he could have come and laid hands and he could have been healed. But no, Jesus wanted to wait, right, you guys? And while Jesus was teaching across Jordan, the Bible says Lazarus became very sick. And no, it is, it will not end in death, God told them. But this is for God's glory that Lazarus died so that God's son, Jesus, will be glorified. Right? This is why, this is why. So the key verse in chapter 11, verses 25 through 26, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. When they questioned him about why, why he waited till Lazarus died, he said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Anyone who believes in me will live and not die. And those who live and, be and believe in me, they will never die right? They will never die, you guys, even when they leave this earth. Do you believe this? See, I'm the kind of person that believes God when he says something. I believe it. That's it, okay? He's my creator. He created me. That's it. He created this world, right? So God allowed these things to happen to me to get the glory out of it, right? To show his mighty power. That's number one. And number two, to test my faith. He needs to know that I know who I am. He needs to know uh, the kind of faith that I have, right? So that he can give me other things as well right? Fasting reveals so much, you guys, about who we are in Christ Jesus. These things were revealed to me because of fasting, you guys. So when you pass the tests, when you pass these tests and you have to walk through things like I walk through, God gives new mantles, new territory. He sets you above principalities and powers more insight and more wisdom, discernment, and so much more. Well, you guys, this ends my part two message of why God allowed the sickness in, in my body. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video so other people that are looking for this information will find it and see this video and receive what they need from their heavenly father answers that they need to walk through their storms supernaturally i love you so so much i thank you for joining me again god bless you and keep you take care okay talk to you soon